Hey, good morning, intermediate algebra students. So we're doing two cons today. The first one is pretty simple. The other one, more difficult, but we've been working on it for a while. So I, I think it should go fairly quickly for you. So first one called slope intercept equation from a graph. So the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out what is our slope of the line. So if you were to look at this line and we were to create um, a couple points here, we might realize that, do you notice how it crosses any different color here than blue on blue? We'll do red. You notice how it crosses perfectly right here? So we are going to put a little dot right there. Yeah, it'd be nice if it would actually make the dot. There we go. Nice one right there. And then the next point it, it crosses perfectly would be right here at this point. So I'll put another dot right there. To get from this dot to that dot, you might notice it goes up 2 over 3. So our slope on that is going to be a positive 2 thirds. So the slope is positive 2 thirds. Our y-intercept is right here at positive 4. So we would just simply type in y equals the slope of 2 thirds x plus positive 4. And that's all you're doing. Let's do one more here. Okay. So again, here. While we have lots of choices, crosses here, 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 you might notice that going from any point here to here, it goes up one over one. So our slope would be considered one over one, but we have to simplify. And one divided by one is just simply one. So our slope is one, and our y-intercept occurs right here at negative five. So our equation would be y equals one x plus negative five. Hey, that's all there is to it for the slope-intercept equation from a graph. Now, the one we've been working on is called slope intercept from two points. And I already kind of have it laid out here because we've been doing this so often. I, I think it's pretty simple. We are taking a look at this question right here. And we've got to find the equation of the graph. So if you remember, the first thing to do is find your slope. Um, your slope is just simply your rise over your run. Uh, the rise is your change in your y values. So our y values go from 7 to negative 3, so they went down 10, and our run went from negative 9 to negative 6, so the temperature actually rose 3 degrees, so up 3. So there's our slope. We then choose any points, and I am chose for both of these equations the first one. So this one is the one I chose to use. 7 is my y value, and 9 is my x value, or negative 9. So then I take negative 9 times negative 10, which is positive 90. 90 divided by 3 is 30. So I've got 7 equals 30 plus b. I subtract 30 from both sides, and I get b equaling negative 23. So the equation is simply y equals negative 10 over 3x minus 23. Probably the best idea to have me check each of these before you hit enter. I don't want to see you getting frustrated. Let's do one more. Find the slope. Negative 8 to negative 4. We went up 4 degrees. Going from 3 to positive 6, we went up 3 degrees. So our slope is a 4 thirds slope, as you can see I put in right here. Now, we plug in. Again, I'm using the first coordinate here. So negative 8 for the y, 3 for the x. I plug that into the equation right here. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Then I need to subtract 4 from both sides. And I get the b equaling negative 12. Hopefully that makes sense. So our equation is y equals 4 thirds x minus 12 as I have right up here. All right, that's all there is to it, guys. Um, you got those two to do today. We'll have one more tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.